Hey, it's me again. I have had to do this video again because it's just absolutely ridiculous how this phone is just turning into a nightmare for me. Like, from the last part, because I filmed one part two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And I was talking about, like, the different, like, subgenres of movies, horror movies that I own personally from what I could think of on the top of my head, which was like suspense, uh, like monsters, like with like vampires, Frankenstein monster, werewolf movies. Uh, you've got your gory with like the Tokyo Gore Police. Um, you've got your torture porn, like torture films, torture porn films. Uh, you've got your slashes, you've got your giallos. You've got your gaudies and you've got your disturbance and that's just to name a few. Sorry, I'm just putting my knees down. So that's why I was just putting on that and then I just like also just wanted to talk about like as well like because you're probably wondering like you're feeling a bit down Skylar, what's up and stuff like that. Uh, I think you guys know what's up we're on lockdown so and i'm feeling like i'm feeling okay but like i do feel like i just want this over and done with because i want to go back and see my friends but i know i i understand that this has to be done because there are people in the world well here aren't listening aren't doing as they're told and they want to cause more harm than good to other people while being outside and I do agree with these fines that are going to be issued out and how oh, people are going to lay back and go hey me you know, why are you saying all this for well if you're not doing like necessary shopping for people that are in need that need to do shopping that cannot go out that cannot go out then yeah that's essential you can do that but if you're wanting to be in the park not by yourself in like a gang hanging around in gangs uh not doing anything necessarily um Going to work and you shouldn't have to go to work when you can. Some people can do their work at home. Um, the only people that should be working is the people that work in the hospitals and the NHS and the supermarkets and banks and stuff like that. That like are helping us. So that's why, in a way, that I feel, in a way yeah these fines can be issued so that people realize look this is bad just stay safe and stay at home like what i'm doing and if you're wondering why i have to stay at home and i'm not out getting the essentials all the time um unless i i have a hospital appointment then i stay at home i stay 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 at home because i still unfortunately have to have a couple of hospital appointments which sucks but that's what happens um so i'm staying at home i'm in the vulnerable category because i have fibromyalgia and a few other little issues wrong with me and i also have an issue with my lungs with my asthma as the doctors have told me best to illustrate this is if you if when you do if you ask me checkups right and you're on the peak flow meter and you're only giving out deep breaths out to push that peak flow the little dial up between 200 and 250 something wrong there isn't it well that's me <laughs> 
Oh, that's me. There's only been one time in like all these years that I've got up to 300. So my asthma's not too good. But I get on with it. But you know, I have to get on with my life being on lockdown. And what does help with me being on lockdown is I know people say, oh, you're a hoarder of movies. You what? You have too many movies. I have a lot of films. I can watch films. I can build a shelf. I could put more photos up. Because my house here is. I have quite a lot of photos up. I have a memory wall up in my bedroom that still needs to. I don't think it's going to be completed ever, but one day I'll show you it because I've got a few more bits that I need to put up. Which will be fun. Oh, I'm yawning. Sorry. I'm yawning. And because I feel like a lot tired all the time, but that's not to do with the coronavirus. It's to do with another condition I have, which I feel like tired all the time. So it sucks. And I found out the tablets that I take, I need to stop them for a little bit and manage my pain, which sounds such but it can my tablets are like a trigger an accelerator for the coronavirus it can so say like if i have the coronavirus if i take my tablets it's gonna make me worse not better so the for this while they've put me on different tablets but they're, they're alright for me for now so they've put me on different tablets so that's good oh my nose is itchy with the allergies I hate having allergies uh, yeah I, I just don't know what else to say like I'm stuck here I don't know what to do hubby's gone out he went to the shops and then he's gone to to see his friend because he's taking shopping to him like essentials to him because he has PTSD which is post-traumatic stress disorder and he's kind of a bit vulnerable and he can't leave the house well, we just said a bit of bad news today that one of my friends had to over here it might have to have his leg amputated and it sucks it sucks but I hope, you, I hope they don't like but they do and um, and also why I'm feeling a little bit low is because I'm missing my busy mates and they're in the midst of this on their Spanish lockdown and I wish I was there with them to make sure that they're okay and I miss them like loads and loads and loads and I just but you can't be too selfish sometimes you've got to learn right yeah we can get on with this we can get through this and even if I have to go away my flight's booked for May it was meant to be for my birthday, never happened. Then I booked it for May. And now I'm going to try and see if I can book it for July. Because as far as I know, they are, the airline I'm going with are not starting their flights off till the end of June. So, beginning of July, yeah would probably be the earliest I can fly out fingers crossed because every time I've had an issue it's not worth so hopefully in July when everything comes back to normal because even when the Spanish lockdown finishes we're still in lockdown so if they finish end of April we're still in lockdown till at least the middle of June so we're kind of like foot, basically. So we can't fly out or nothing. But at least 
for now, I'm safe, I'm happy ish. Um, I can watch some movies and just chill and bake. Well, even I can't really bake because I've only got enough baking sheet for probably one, maybe two cakes left because I need more baking sheets. Because everybody's baking, apparently. Everybody's baking, so I've been told. But, like, at the end of the day, I'm happy ish. But I just, I just miss everybody, and that's my problem. Like, what, like, I know I can't do videos every day anyway, but what I want to do is I want to, uh, I might do a Q&A for the channel. I be wanting to do a Q&A for the channel, so anybody's got any questions um if you are friends with me on facebook so just listen if you are friends with me on facebook or instagram i would like you to there's no limit on questions if you want to send me ask me 10 questions ask me 10 questions if you want to ask me five ask me five um but um I might do a little thing on Facebook where a uh, comment below with your questions or you can inbox me directly because I feel like a Q&A is in order and stuff like that or if you want to comment under this video and say hey is it alright if I um, put some questions down to ask you to see how you are and stuff like that then that's fine I want to do a Q&A but I also want to do a review I need to do so I need to put some reviews up for this channel because while I'm on this lockdown I'm I am watching some films and I do want to do some reviews Um, I've got some movies coming in the post as you saw one for my birthday that I waited for for four years finally dropped down a price I finally do own Ruggiero Diodato's the washing machine and I haven't watched it yet, but I will be watching it because because I can. I'm just waiting for Carnival Fair Arts. That's the other one, but that will be the only Blu-ray in my What's the Shameless collection. And then I'm only down to two films that I would need. And then I've got a few more coming. I've got some that because I'll let I want to say something else right as well. Jordan the Transit, um, two years, just over two years ago from me moving to my old place to here, which was kind of stressful enough, I did lose some films. I did, unfortunately, lose some films, so it wasn't good. And one of them I wanted to watch last night, so... I even have lost a film called Novo, I love that film, Novo. So I need to buy that again somewhere. But luckily for like eBay and the online stores like HM, HMV and Zavi and stuff like that where you can buy movies from and get them sent to your door and watch them so I'm kind of happy about that. But um, if there's anything else you want to see on my channel, do you? I do want to ask this, do you guys want to see maybe in like a couple of different parts either this part will be the, the different parts move my movie what movies i own to show you guys or do you want me to pick out my favorite movies like show you like an overview and then pick out my favorite movies from my collection and or would you like for me to do a full top 10 list of favorite of my favorite films of all time and my favorite horror movies of all time and to show you it's, it's, instead of me like saying to you like these are my favorite movies to show you the actual movies itself that i to say look i do own them and these are my favourites, so 
What do you guys think? Like, because I don't know what else to say or what to do because I don't want this lagging on too long. So, yeah. So, I just want to end with I want to thank everybody that watches my videos. Um, I'm here, I'm alright. I want to thank RNHS and a couple of people that I know that are on the front line right now working. Uh, everybody that's helping so we can have food on the table and making sure everything's alright so we can pay our bills and stuff like that. Thank everybody. And I just I just miss you all and I want to do more videos for you guys but it's just difficult and I just want to everyone to stay safe stay at home that's the mo most important thing you've got to stay safe and stay at home only go out to do what you need to do like shopping essentials and please do what the Spaniards do keep safe distance go in what you need don't friggin panic buy because because all I will say something I've seen people do videos from like if they have to do the shopping and in Spain their shops are full because they're doing as they're told getting the essentials and look at what we're doing empty shelves we're not getting everything that we need and I still need stuff and I can't get them because there's some selfish people out there that are spoiling it for others. So all I'm saying is do what the Spanish do. Keep a safe distance. Go in the supermarket. Get what you need. Come back out. Everybody's a winner. And we can be off this lockdown quicker than we say. Et ya, As what Dirk Benedict says in Body Slam. Cause that's what he says quicker than you say it for ya that's one of the like the lines from the film so yeah i'm putting movie stuff now <laughs> it's, it's mad so i'm hoping this works so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here so like this video subscribe turn that notification bell on you'll get a brand new video from me if and when i can so stay safe stay at home stay happy stay gory and have unpleasant dreams Tata for now, bye.